This is Suzanne Wagner, and I'm doing the personal quote and blog for the 22nd of September 2022. My quote for today. We, ha we become informed by reading many books on the same subjects from different authors. We learn objectivity when we understand the slants that each writer holds and the positions they intend to promote. I am most impressed currently by male African-American authors whose great education shows in how they speak fluidly and in organized and intelligent ways that are inclusive and without bias. I am fascinated by the book, The Third Reconstruction by Peniel E. Joseph. For those that love it on Audible, it is available on Amazon. And my blog for today. Yesterday we went to the Heritage Museum in Skibbereen and saw the Irish potato famine history. Whew, oh my, that was so depressing. It was shocking to see the total disregard of so many who had the power and influence to do something, but they instead just turned a blind eye to the horrific deaths of starvation and the resulting cataclysm of disease and pestilence that followed in its wake. Granted, news did not travel fast in those days, but what was unfolding was something that no one could ever ha should ever have to endure. Governments ignored the suffering and the English continued to take more than their fair share and demanded what they wanted while the people of Ireland starved to death. In some areas, such as Skibbereen, two out of three people died of starvation. The population of Ireland before the famine in 1843 was 8.5 million. Even now, the population in Ireland is only 5 million. It is estimated that in the U.S. alone, there are 50 million descendants from Ireland that still claim Irish heritage. I appreciate museums and believe that keeping the history in places that allows for others to learn, remember, and understand is so important for the evolution of mankind in healthy ways. I feel the freedom to read controversial but books is just as important. We must keep the free flow of ideas and concepts alive. Ignorance is a huge problem currently in our world and country. We have become, in our country, lazy and uninformed. Television cannot help but promote clickbait and to manipulate the emotions of the people in order to ensnare them in the rhetoric that they want to force feed the public. That leads to a society that is vulnerable to the current patterns of deception, manipulation, and coercion that have historically torn down entire civilizations from the greed, rot, and arrogance of those in charge the powerful, the wealthy, and the elite. I know these are the natural cycles that happen and unfold, but it is still something that is so shocking to my mind as it continues to happen today, just as it did in Rome, Greece, Egypt, and other great civilizations. The best thing any of us can do is to become passionate about reading history and science. Education is more important than ever, and it is up to us to support, inspire, and promote the tools that will allow the next generations to do much better than us. Thanks, everyone.